you bow hunting fanatics out there. This is Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Uh, this is our vlog style video. It is January 5th. I'm heading out here for an evening hunt. Uh, it is a warm day today. Uh, right now my car is reading 63 degrees. Yes, folks, you heard that correct. I said January 5th, Southwest Missouri, 63 degrees. I think it's more like on my phone, I get out of this car, it'd be like 59 degrees, but still, January, baby. Anyway, I'm heading to this location. Uh, here is an archery only spot. Uh, I don't know how many <laughs> subscribers I got that uh, are queuing in, listening for hints of, oh, where's Al hunting at, really? But if you are listening, I'm going to give you a little bit of where we're at and what we're doing. Anyway, we're going down here to Bennett Springs State Park. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, Missouri has a wonderful state park, Bennett Springs. People come from all around to uh, trout fish uh, here, here at Bennett Springs. And there is an archery-only area. Uh, there's, I think it's only about 40 acres. And it is surrounded by state park. There is a few private uh, land areas there. I've spoken um before with the landowner and he will not let you hunt so it is primarily just him and his family so i know that these uh, these deer uh, do get some human uh presence with the it's right by a river access uh constantly you know sometimes you try and hunt this early season there's a lot of folks down here playing in the river and you can hear them even from where i have get up got up in a tree but anyway so with that being said uh the archery only the surrounded by state park and uh just some a few private hunters i'm going in here in hopes to get some deer uh who have not been spooked too hard um I, the first year that i hunted this location in 2013 uh, i killed a doe on the ground 10 yards I'm gonna be hunting from the ground this evening uh, uh, my older brother jackie uh, he hung a stand up here two years ago, and I think that they've seen some nice uh, bucks. He is a big-time trophy hunter, and, and the ones that he's seen just didn't didn't uh, float his boat. So, anyway, we're going down here uh, this evening. Hopefully, we can get uh, a tag filled here within these last final hunts that we're having. Uh, but I'm having a wonderful day. It is a beautiful day. Not the greatest for hunting, but it is a beautiful day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully, I'll have some action for you here. I'm working on these final uh, season episodes, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll have uh, at least a, you know I haven't haven't got an archery or a gun kill this year. I've been really picky this year, uh, but I haven't seen really any any uh, uh, mature. I've seen one mature bug. So um, anyway, hopefully, we'll have some action uh, with you. Uh, this evening, so stay tuned with us. Trying to find some fresh deer sign. Small track right there. super thick through here. If it wasn't January, I wouldn't be able to see what happens. Alright, I'm 
Time Dog's watch has had a super intense last 45 minutes. I think those two deer that I bumped up circled back. One appeared to be a big six point, or it was a decent seven point. I never really got a good look at it. I did get some footage of him making a rub. So it's on the, it's on the Sony. It'll be in the episode. But dang it. He came into the thick. He was probably 50 or 60 yards when I first seen him. And then he moved off to 75 yards. Or so, and man, I only made like three steps, and he bounded off, and then I seen another one. So there was either one moving in, or he was there the whole time. But I, yeah, I, I got footage of him bedding down and making a run. I still think I hear him way off in the distance, but I was just barely catching glimpses of him. It's really hard to get that. On footage. I'm sorry, folks. I wish I could have done a better job. But the the glimpse I got of his handlers, it looked like a decent buck. At this point, I would have shot the little one. But um, man, um, that's been the most intense uh, part of my archery season right there. He was 60 yards off when I first seen him. Still got some light. I'm still on my feet. So hopefully, hopefully Mr. Big Boy's in here too. Cause he, he sure wasn't Mr. Big. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Who's up in them grass over there making a rub? It's crazy. Got my adrenaline. Start backing it up. It's definitely a fun evening in the woods. Oh, she's had this dough. 